Good day. Lecture number 20. The religion decline. At home, on the voting day, an hour after the voting polls closing, the commentator declares, if the trend is maintained, the XYZ party will form the next government and will be resented as a majority or a minority. Fascinating, the prediction is mostly always correct. So, could we predict that before the end of this 21st century, if the trend is maintained, and that seems to be the case, the religion will then vanish. With it, the early books, the Torah, the Bible, the Quran, the Veda, the Kings, and others will survive as they should be, meaning teaching books. Recently, a new book arrived, truly best adapted to second millennium mind. It has a symbolic name, the book. The book is 21st century Bible, also called the modern Bible, or the Aquarius Bible. Past early books have been written for illiterate and extrovert people, while the book is for learned and introvert people. Why religion will disappear? Here are some answers. First of all, men live with an important unknown fact that humanity is living a transitory period from the fish era to the Aquarius era, meaning from illiterate to learning, from ignorance to knowledge. This transition imposes changes. The identity of religion. Religion represents God's spirit interpretation. Religion is not God, and God is not religion. God live without religion, but religion couldn't live without God. The Bible says, None under the sun is eternal, but the eternal. In biblical language, the eternal is God. Then we should read, None under the sun is eternal, but God. Cicero would say, Beyond the moon, all is eternal. If God is eternal, and religion is not God, therefore religion is not eternal. Likewise, all nations came and gone, so religions. Let's think to religions of Mesopotamia, Babylonia, the Osiris Egyptian religion, the Zeus Greek re religion, the Jupiter Roman religion, and many more that came and gone. The religion's missions. Religion is part of the evolution. Religion is a transient mode of life, even ephemeral, on an eternal life scale. If religion wouldn't have existed, we would have to invent it. The two mission religion duty. Evolution confided religion to two duties. First, First mission was to teach mankind truly life principles as guide and counselor. Secondly, to persuade men to live under these exclusive guide and counselor. Let's see more. First mission. The first mission was to teach mankind life principles. These principles interpret the internal God Spirit 
and therefore are eternal too. The Decalogue contained the principles of life. You don't kill. You don't lie. You don't steal. You don't covet neighbor's goods. You honor your life givers. You protect life under whatsoever form, etc. During past centuries, a providential event occurred that contributed to introduce these life principles within life society. In the 4th century, Clovis in Gaul, Constantine in Rome, declared that religion is the state's laws. By these degrees, life principle became the administrative civil laws. Still today, we are still feeling these influences. One opens a civil laws book and read, you don't kill, you don't lie, you don't steal, you don't covet neighbor's goods, you honor your life givers, you protect life under whatsoever form, etc. Believers took consciousness of these principles through religious teaching and societies through laws. So religion succeeded wisely with its first mission. Second mission. The second mission should have men live peacefully and freely under the guidance of these true and exclusive guides and counselors. As soon as men started to think, and without knowing it, its animal intuition elaborated in his soul these principles of life as a sort of feeling. Later, prime men benefited of intelligently skills in order that they may acquire the maturity and responsibility to understand and be guided freely by these same principles. As time passed, these skills modified the notion of religion, from legends to polytheists, and then to monotheists. The strength of religion was its autocratic character. Nevertheless, a dictatorship was its unbeaten force, facing the men of the fish period, the same force became his H.R. Hill with the learned Aquarian men. It is now knowable that the independent character of the Aquarian men does not get well along with the dictatorship of religion of the fish era. From then come the rebellions, the opposition, even the abandon and schism. Then the primen, always private, always under the audible instinct influence, used his new intelligent skill to look mainly after his animal life, his material progress, leaving his human life almost uninterested. The modern man is a primen, a primate and a human apprentice. His life ratio, primate human, is 90-10, which means that men live with plus 90% as primate, immature and irresponsible, and less than 10% as human apprentice, so little major and responsible. Watching closely men in his daily life, we realize that he is not driven by the principles of life, by his intelligent skills and free will. He looks himself as rival to nature, and then he created new and false principles, unhealthy food, drugs, violence and sex, which man transformed into false religions. 
Such attitude fades away the spirit of life principle and contributed to the religion second mission failure. So, in a predictable time, such as the end of this 21st century, religion will fade away as men tend to ignore the life principle. Result of missions? Religion has marvelously succeeded with his first mission. Nevertheless, he has badly failed with his second mission. Positive point. Life principles are eternal. So, for a short time, they are still there. For a short time later, they are no more. And much time later, they will come back forever. Witnesses. It is not now known that the secret book are not history books in the sense given to the term history. Let's take the Bible as example. From Vatican we are told that the Bible is not a history book. The pious 12 pontifical encyclical humani generis written on August 12, 1950, and the John Paul II homily at the opening of the plenary meeting of the Pontifical Academy for Sciences held on October 22, 1996, remind us that the Bible is not a history book and then the world has not been created as written in the Bible. Aristotle said that the matter is eternal, solely its form has been created. Moreover, the same pontiff advanced the ideas that men could have been created with pre-existent matter, which constitute an important opening favoring the theory of evolution, from which Vatican has always been opposed to. Then the book arrived just in time to take the empty place. Conclusion The acceptation and obedience of life principles could not be realized by laws or punishment. The ultimate arm is knowledge. Men's opinion drives the thinker and decider, and the opinions are formed through knowledge. The authorities must encourage people to think in order to be able to understand the only principles able to guide toward liberty, compulsory prerequisite to happiness. Life is like a film or scenario. In film, they are a main actor, one or more support actors, and a multitude as walk-on parties. In personal life, each one has the main actor play. Also, he has a support play for those who suffered or benefit from his influence, and for the rest of humanity, he is a welcome party. Too often, we realize that the governmental education programs leave aside the true and deep knowledge of men. Governments play a role of supporters and should develop teaching programs to allow people to know him best. Then the teaching program should include first, the knowledge of the universe, two, the knowledge of mineral, vegetable, and animal influence to men, three, the human biologic, physiologic, and morphologic function, four, the psychic knowledge of human mind. Less than that literature with the wise words of the late Nelson Mandela. Changes will come, but with knowledge. Thank you. Remember that all lectures are always available by paper or email. Thank you. Armin.